Welcome, my name is Laura Kunitz and I'm the knitting instructor here at Jimmy Bean's shop in Reno. I'm also the designer of this project. The pattern introduces a number of new techniques, so we thought a video would be helpful. Since this is a mystery project, we'll break the video into two parts. For those of you that want just enough information to get going, we'll show you only the techniques. However, if you're struggling a bit, we'll get you started by knitting the beginning of the project along with you. Let's get going. Let's start with a long tail cast on and nine stitches because you're probably wondering why I started with nine if I only wanted six. You'll see I am casting on uh, not too loosely, obviously not tightly, but we're just going to easily cast on nine stitches here. Two, four, six, eight, and one more. Now we're going to take these stitches and we're going to slide them to the other end of the needle. And we're going to reduce this nine, these nine stitches to six stitches. Without any working yarn, you're going to slip purlwise two stitches, pass one, slip, one stitch over as if you're binding off. That creates a piggyback stitch. Now slip one. That gives you one piggyback and one normal stitch. Let's do that again. Two stitches, pass the stitch over, slip one normally, two stitches, Pass that last one over, slip the last one, and now you have six stitches. Now why did I do that? And the reason is it creates this nubby edge here, which is going to flow more carefully and match better in your project. Now let's take a look at the first two instructions in the pattern, which are wrap two, knit two front and back. Wrap two, this is for the edge of the project. To wrap two, you're going to slip two stitches purlwise to the right needle, move the yarn to the front, like a yarn forward, slip these two stitches back, and bring the yarn around the front tip of the needle, not as a yarn over, but around the front tip. The next step is to knit two front and back. It's very similar to knitting a knit one front and back, but it's not an increase. So there's a knit two into the front, very much like a knit two together. Leave it on the needle, turn to the back, and knit two. Don't let it pull too tightly. Okay, started with two stitches, ended with two stitches. The next step in the pattern is a knit one front and back into the yarn over from the prior round. We're gonna knit one, and knit into the back, that is an increase. Okay, and then you'll be knitting. Now let me try this again, not continental, uh, to see if that helps. Now to show this to you again, I'm gonna knit into the, knit two together, leave it on the needle, bring it around to the back, knit two to the back loop, and then the next stitch is knit one and knit, see how that kind of goes into the loop there? Knit into the back of the yarn over. Sorry, I am not a thrower, okay? As we get to the end of the wrong side row, I just want to point out that you will be yarning over, you knit to the last two stitches, yarn over, and then knit two. So these two stitches here from the wrapped knit one front and back are worked separately. There is one more technique I'd like to uh, share with you before you start knitting the shawl. And that is this raised showy line uh, that sits on top of the garter and kind of creates pattern here. Uh, the decrease on the right side is worked uh, as a knit two together just like always. What I want you to notice here is when you're working the knit two together, that this raised line is the left stitch of the two. So here's a knit two together, yarn over, and we're just gonna quickly knit to the end. What I'd like to point out to you next is what is it that makes that knit two together rise up on top of the knit garter fabric? Uh, if you just do a simple knit two together, it does not have the same impact as what I'm gonna show you. The only difference between what we're going to do 
here in this project and what you would normally do is you're not going to just knit back. Here we are knitting back and then I'm going to get to this spot where I see there's a yarn over coming. There's a yarn over. I'm going to purl the yarn over. I'm going to slip the next stitch which is that knit two together from the prior row. I can see that it has that bumpy at the double strand bumpy edge there and I'm going to purl the next stitch. So it's purl, slip, purl, and then go to the last two stitches and yarn over and knit two. Okay, but what we just did is we just slipped that knit two together and what that little change in technique does is it joins the decreases in one long line that also rises up on the knit fabric. So as you're working any knit two together decreases. Just look and make sure that the left of the two stitches is that showy line. That should be a good tip for you. I hope that helps. You can start the project along with me in the second video. You can also visit my blog at Knitting Nuances for more information about the showy decrease and the many ways in which it can be used. Thanks for stopping by.